On this episode of On the Set, I'm checking out Doom, the film adaptation of the popular horror game. This one stars The Rock and Carl Urban, and it's pretty great. So let's get into it. In the year 2026, a portal to an ancient city on Mars is discovered deep below the Nevada desert. A while later on, the UAC, a genetics corporation, builds a research facility on Mars, and scientists are placed there to study the ancient city. Twenty years later, the researchers are attacked by an unknown creature. The head scientist, Dr. Carmack, sends a distress call, and a team of marines called the RRTS are sent in to investigate. They travel through the portal, which is called the Ark, and meet Pinky, a UAC employee who gives them their mission, basically to rescue scientists and retrieve UAC data from the labs. John, who goes by the codename Reaper, one of the marines who is reluctant to go on the mission, meets up with his estranged sister, Sam, a doctor at the facility who they have to escort to retrieve the data. Sam tells them that they reopened an old dig site and found skeletons of a humanoid race who once lived on Mars. Also that these skeletons were genetically enhanced with a 24th chromosome. After rescuing an injured Dr. Carmack, the team chases a strange creature down into the sewer, where it kills one of the soldiers. They manage to kill the creature and take it back to Sam's lab, where she dissects it discovering that it used to be human. Just then, the dead soldier resurrects and kills himself. They notice that Dr. Carmack is missing and are soon attacked by another creature, who turns out to be Carmack. After killing a few more creatures and losing a couple more soldiers, Sam, John, and Sarge, the leader of the group, discover that the UAC was experimenting on humans using the chromosome, which they call C-24. Sam states that not everyone exposed to C-24 will turn into a creature, Only the ones with a violent nature will. Also that good-natured people will develop superhuman abilities from it. Some of the creatures escape containment at the beginning, which led to the outbreak in the facility. Against John and Sam's advice, Sarge goes on a killing spree, killing anyone left alive to prevent the creatures from escaping the lab. The remaining soldiers, Sam and Pinky, go back through the Ark to the Nevada facility, which they find in complete ruin. One of the soldiers, a rookie named Kid, finds a group of survivors who Sarge orders to kill. But when he refuses, Sarge kills the kid and then gets dragged away by a creature. As John and Sam are the only survivors, they flee, but John gets hit with a stray bullet and starts to bleed to death. To prevent it, Sam injects him with C-24 as he passes out. And here's where it gets pretty cool. So, John wakes up in first person, just like the game, and is now superhuman. Sam is missing, and he goes through the facility searching for her, killing creatures along the way.
He fights Pinky, who is transformed into, well, a Pinky, as it's called in the game. Then, John finds Sam with a now-infected Sarge. John tries to reason with him, but a huge fight ensues. After the fight, John throws Sarge back through the Ark to Mars with a grenade, killing him and destroying the Ark. Afterward, John carries Sam to an elevator where they travel back to the surface. The end. You know what? This one was pretty great. Much like Spider-Man 3, I think I'm the only person who loves this movie. It's so good. But is it like the game? No, not at all. They replaced a portal to hell with a portal to Mars, and demons with mutants, but it's still pretty great. The Rock was awesome, and Carl Urban was too. Also, they made a sequel, so I'll be sure to check that one out pretty soon. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.